Hey everybody, just wanted to let you know about some of the materials for the bow that I'm shooting in this video. It is made out of Schedule 40 PVC pipe. The main body of the bow for the limbs and the handle and everything is just one smooth piece and that is three quarter inch diameter schedule 40 and then we also have for the sias which are the very tips of the recurve of the mongolian style bow that is also made out of schedule 40 and that is a half inch diameter so the again the bow body is three quarter inch and then the sias are half inch diameter now for the string, I use 750 paracord. I use that because it's thick enough that it hangs onto the knock of the arrow. I was using 550 paracord when I first was making my PVC bows. It was about four or five years ago. <laughs> and um, they, I found that the string wasn't thick enough once it was actually stretched taut by the strength of the bow stretching that string found it wasn't tight enough to hold the arrow on and so I used 750 paracord and it was the perfect diameter to hold on to the knock of an arrow but also release it well when you actually fire the arrow so just wanted to go into the materials you know that I made again it's three quarter inch and half inch diameter schedule 40 pipe for the bow and then the 750 paracord for the string and I use you know there are videos backyard boyer is the one that I the YouTube channel backyard boyer is the videos that I first learned how to make PVC bows from and then the actual design that I made this bow from was from a guy I forget he's out of Thailand I don't remember which video it was it's been a year or two since i watched it but you can get it on youtube and double check and you should be able to find his video again i just don't remember where where it was but um you know it's just on how to make a mongolian style horse bow so i hope you guys enjoy the video coming up thanks how's it going everybody so this evening it's a very beautiful evening I might add. Um, if I have heard on YouTube lately uh, kind of a debate between with using the Mediterranean grip of an arrow like this instead of like a thumb release or you know some other type of Asian release shooting off the right side of the bow when you're shooting right-handed holding it in your left hand on the outside is dangerous not accurate all these different negative things but as a youtube channel that i watch um shadowversity you know shad brooks shout out to him he has shown multiple times that it is not dangerous and can be very accurate in this test i'm not going to be going for accuracy i just want to see kind of how much an arrow this is just a very basic um, field tip point arrow just for target with um, simulation turkey feathers so if they slide over a hand release a hand rest better um, we're just gonna see you know shooting off both sides we're gonna shoot off the left side first or of the bow and we're gonna shoot off the right side and I'm gonna shoot at the two different things one at a time and show you know how much penetration we get one way or the other is it the same you know whatever we you know is one more or less we're just gonna kind of find out here and like I said I'm not going for accuracy I'm just going for power so I'm going to be a bit closer I'm not going to be standing yards and meters away I'm just going to come pretty close to them so we can get as much energy off the arrow as possible again I'm going to shoot off the left side of the bow and we'll see what happens here okay so with Shooting off the left side of the bow. Well, these are all ga one gallon jugs, so we have one, two, and then into the third. If we back this out, went into the third about half an inch. So, shooting off the left side of the bow, we got about 
two gallons through two one gallon jugs and then into a third one so we'll let these guys bleed out and then we'll come and shoot the right row shooting off the right side of the bow and another thing that I did because I have been learning a technique where I draw out of a hip quiver and then just come straight up onto the bow and knock and then draw and shoot. I have these speed knocks here that are just a little flanged at the end which make it real a lot quicker to actually get it on the string and knocked and ready to go which is really nice for when you're drawing in one smooth motion and shooting haven't quite gotten it down 100 percent yet though <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and shoot off the right side of the bow here see what kind of penetration we get off that all right so on this one all right again we went into two full ones into a third and that's where it went in oh so we got over an inch more of penetration on this so shooting the dangerous not accurate way actually gave us better penetration than shooting the traditional um off the left side of the bow leg loss style if you will and classic European archers so it's very interesting I wasn't sure if that was what was going to happen or not but I don't know if it's just the fact that you can draw back a little bit further on the right side versus left I'm not sure but it's actually quite fascinating that we got quite a bit more penetration off the exact same physical arrow not even switching to another arrow of the same type we're using actual same physical arrow let like these guys bleed out too and you know we got just all these different results it's actually kind of fascinating i was not expecting that i was actually expecting the reverse of that in a way because of what multiple sources have said not just one or the other so anyways you guys have a oh before i go um as some of you know i am or i haven't really alluded to this in very many other videos but i am a huge history nut geek and find my family history very fascinating and late last year or beginning of this year i uh, found out what my family's scottish clan is which is clan carruthers and we were a uh, unruly clan that as so we were ruled by the um, british crown back in the middle ages so we have Clan Carruthers, Mischief and Mayhem since the Middle Ages, and I found that kind of fi a fitting shirt to wear for this video since we're kind of dealing with some medieval weaponry made out of modern materials. This is a carbon fiber arrow and a PVC pipe bow. So found uh, thought it'd be funny to do a medieval style weapon with modern materials with this particular shirt on. Anyways, you guys have a great evening and we'll see you next time.